Hello everyone and welcome back into my kitchen. Today I'm sharing with you what we eat in a day. We are a family of 10 people currently in our house and we homeschool. My husband works from home um, full time in seminary and so we eat a lot of food. I do try to often make things from scratch but I also enjoy some convenience food every once in a while because I am busy and I don't have hours a day to spend in the kitchen. So this morning I'm making some banana cake for breakfast. This is a simple recipe made with oat flour. I have some oat grouts that I got from Azure Standard and I also have an electric grain mill that I grind those into oat flour and use them to make this cake with. It is a good option for gluten-free people and it also is good for breakfast because it's just oatmeal and we're eating it in cake form instead of in a bowl. This recipe comes out of the Home Ground Flour Cookbook. It is one of my most favorite cookbooks that I use all the time. I will leave a link in the description box for that if you are interested in checking it out. And you do not have to grind your own flour to make the recipes in that book. I often will just use all-purpose flour out of convenience and the recipes still turn out fantastic. This banana cake recipe is one of my favorite ones in the cookbook and they do have a cream cheese frosting recipe in there that you can use. Sometimes I make this with cream cheese frosting. I also have made it with caramel frosting which is really really good. And then today actually we had it with some sliced strawberries and some heavy whipping cream that I did not whip, we just poured the heavy whipping cream over the top. And that is what we had for breakfast. We needed to use these strawberries up before they went bad. And everyone really enjoyed this. It was a hit with the kids. They were all excited when they got up and could smell it baking um, and they were ready to eat it. Sometimes in my grocery hauls, I will mention that I purchased something specifically for my husband and I to eat. And there are some people who do not like this and don't think it's okay. I have received several uh, rude comments from people that say I shouldn't do this or give me a thumbs down for buying something specifically for my husband and I. But you can see if you are around here often enough that my kids are not starving and they receive three full meals every day plus they get snacks and special treats and their little bodies can burn off the foods that are less healthy for you much quicker than my husband and I can. So they get all sorts of treats that my husband and I don't eat and there are some things that I buy for just my husband and I to enjoy that they don't get to have and that is totally okay and perfectly fine. It works just fine for our family and so um, that is the way we're going to continue to do things around here. But. I just wanted to point out that my children are not deprived of anything uh, and are able to have three full meals every day. So for lunch, I was making some filet mignon. One of the blessings of having our own beef is that we get to have all these yummy steaks uh, that are extremely expensive when you try to buy them at the grocery store. But I had all these steaks and one of my friends had mentioned that they had had some filet mignon that was coffee crusted. So I looked up a recipe and decided to give it a try. It is uh, linked, the recipe is linked in the description box. You can hear the kids playing. I'm actually outside while I'm doing this voiceover. Um, I will link the recipe in the description box, but I finally ground up some coffee. I added some sugar and some seasoning salt, and then I just rubbed that all over the outside of these steaks. 
and then I seared them in my cast iron skillet for about uh, four or five minutes on each side and then I went ahead and stuck them in the oven and let them bake the rest of the way and they turned out really good I actually really enjoyed them my husband I had forgot he had actually had a meeting uh, this day for lunch and so he didn't get to enjoy these fresh but he had them the next day and he said he liked them too and all the kids ate them it wasn't their favorite thing some of them liked it more than the others but um, all the steaks got eaten they disappeared pretty quickly so uh, everyone did enjoy this quite a bit For dinner on this day, I made some French toast. I had gotten three loaves of the cinnamon streusel bread from the free food hall and decided that it would make fantastic uh, French toast. So I cracked a dozen eggs into a bowl. I added some milk and some cinnamon and then I just whisked that until the eggs were all mixed together with the milk and cinnamon. And then you just dip each piece of bread into the egg mixture and cook it on a skillet. Um, this bread, because it was like the cinnamon streusel bread, it's not like, you know, white loaf of bread you would buy at the store. It was a little bit thicker and denser than what a normal loaf of bread from the store feels like. So it was very filling. And I cooked up two of those loaves of the cinnamon streusel bread, and we did have leftovers. So um, the kids have eaten those for breakfast and a snack throughout the rest of the week but everyone enjoyed this and um, it was a super easy dinner that didn't take any time at all to throw together. When I was about halfway done cooking this, I had a little helper come in and she wanted to help me do all of the things with the French toast. I did not let her dip and put them on the skillet, but I did let her flip them and transfer them into the oven, which she said was her favorite part. My favorite part is the oven. Jump. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing what my large family eats in a day thank you so much for being here and for watching and i will see you guys all next time bye bye